What's up, everyone? It's your boy K Dizzle, back with another, done like no other, straight with no chaser. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, share, and like this video if you want to see more videos like this. Today, I bring you an epic pro clubs game I am calling The Comeback, featuring Steel Bobani 10, Low Key Pads, and your boy K Dizzle. Kicking off is the away team in white with a squad of five pros versus our squad with only three. Only three? Mm. Not fair. Hell no. That ain't fair. Steele with a lovely interception who then drives forward with the ball, going forward, driving like a pal driver, then passes the ball to Loki, who then checks back and then passes the ball back to Steele. The away team winning the ball, driving forward, trying to sucker punch my team with a counter attack. Whoa, lovely play. Adding some flair to their passes. It looks like they got Ronaldinho in their squad. As the away team turned up the heat, it felt like we were in a pressure cooker, passing the ball like a hot potato. We were definitely on the back foot. The away team following the manager's tactics to a T, unleashing the first shot of the game. Not allowing us to come out of our own half, they were putting so much pressure, I was wondering what was going on with my team. But listen, yo, it was the first 20 minutes, and I think we could come back and... The fucker scored. Down by a goal, still waving his hand high, looking like a student who's always got the answer, but the teacher not wanting to pick him. Had so much belief, asking for the one to driving past the defender, looking for the cross, sees Loki, but holds his cross, waiting for Loki to get to the far post. But the move doesn't work. Still 1-0 down, one a corner, red running around, pulling defenders out of position, asking for the ball from Steele, saying, look buddy, I am free, come, pass me buddy, pass the ball here. Steele ignoring him, looking into the box, sees me, tries to pass it to me, but overcooks the cross. The away team breaking with the counter, the manager messing with the tactics, asking for the offside trap at the wrong time, which then opens up for the away team and bang, passes it to the right and just passes it into the net. This was down to the manager. 2-0 down, only 30 minutes into the game and our confidence had been knocked, but still, the yellow still believed we could come back. He was the believer. Making forward runs, hoping that I could find him, which wasn't the case. All throughout the second half, the away team put so much pressure on us and we just had to hold our own. We just had to keep it there, keep the game at 2-0 as we went into half time. The camera crew managed to sneak into our dressing room and capture some footage of our half time team talk. This is some of that footage. Have you heard what the crowd is shouting? After the halftime talks from the manager, we were ready to go on the pitch and show the manager that we did deserve to put on those shirts. Red, on the other hand, low-key was just stood there, shocked, not knowing what to do, and started moving, and didn't know if he really wanted to play or not play. Starting on the front foot, we were ready to show the away team what we were made of. We still weren't playing as a team, we weren't pressing as a team, and the manager was letting us know by the sidelines, shouting that we should keep on pressing, press as a team. Team press, baby. It looked like the halftime team talk had grown a few hairs on our chest and we were ready to prove ourselves. But first we needed to score our first goal. Still with a little bit of trickery, trying to convince the defense, but loses the ball as he's doing his magic. As quickly as we lost it, we won the ball back, but we lost it again. Are we going to win this ball back? It was the game of winning the ball. Yes, we were pressing now as a team. We won the ball. We were going for it. We were trying to gun for it. But then, still with that... Mm, uh, uh. 
Okay, back to it, ladies and gentlemen. We were back on it. We were pressing as a team. Red, known as Loki, decided to abandon us. He had no belief at all, but he didn't know that me and Yellow, we were about to do Only this. 30 minutes to go. My game rating at 6.6. .6. We had to find as a team something within us, something inside of us. We had to try and believe to see if we could create something out of nothing. But the away team trying to put the pressure on us, but no, we decided to go on a counter. Driving that ball into empty space, looking to see if the keeper was coming out. I smashed that ball, put it at the top left hand side. Top bins, baby. Game on. Nice. The goal had us itching, like we had ants in our pants, about to rumble, about to float like a butterfly, and yes, sting like a bee. We were about to mount that comeback, Yellow passing it to me, looking to the left, I pass it to the player, who then gives it to Yellow, Yellow coming in, gives a shot, but the keeper saves it, what a save, it's a corner kick, what are we gonna do? I'm asking for the ball from Yellow, I look confidently, headed to the keeper, the keeper saves it again, this attack was coming in strongly, heavily, like an artillery, oh baby, belief was written all on our faces, we had the fire in our tummy, we were about to rumble, like the rumble in the jungle, no time to fumble, no time to stumble, I was dashing into the box, waiting for the cross, Yellow on a great run, beating three players, beating four players, losing the ball and winning the ball back, but gives a soft shot. But you could tell that the fire was burning within us. The fire was within us. We had that fire. What a shot. But it didn't go in. It was close. 86 minutes. What were we gonna do? Obviously fight back was what we were gonna do. My voice even changing. Oh no, not knowing, but I'm going with this. Things were getting a little bit strange, but I was going with this because the goal was a smasher. Oh, yes, beautiful. My voice even changing. Mm -hmm. Excuse me ladies and gentlemen, I'll just go with this because at this moment in time things are going crazy, the crowd is going wild, it is 2-2 people, 88 minutes and it's 2-2, they thought that they had it, they didn't know that we had the fire, the fire was in us, the kundalini baby burning, yes we had the spirit, I'm giving it a dash, yellow looking at me passing the defender, what a pass, what a dash, yellow I'm calling for the ball but no, he gives a lovely chip because the keeper was nowhere to be found. What a goal. He's about to sit on something. Crazy scenes at the stadium, ladies and gentlemen. Things are going crazy. The manager is going crazy. After his halftime team talk, what are we going to do? What is going to happen? And this is what happened. They've brought us the most beautiful game ever. The comeback. The comeback series. The comeback king. The one and only. And yes, I'm going on like I've never said this before, but I'm going to say it again. That didn't make sense, but I'll make it make sense. It doesn't matter, lazy the dead that man. Uh, if, I'm even chewing my own words, but I'll carry on talking and I'll say it again. It doesn't matter, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't matter, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't matter. Because we've won, it's crazy scenes at the stadium. My voice coming back to normal because what we have just seen and what we have witnessed is something unbelievable. Something that you'd never think is possible. But yes, they came back from 2-0 down to win the game 3-2. What a game. Thank you very much for joining this here series. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And listen out, y'all. Don't forget to drop your comments and let me know what you think of the video. And listen, for more videos like this, make sure that you like. In fact, smash the like button and make sure that you subscribe. Peace and love.